Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Kalita wave pour over. The Kalita wave pour over is really nice in that it's very simple and basic. It's got this um, filter that is all folded up so that there's a lot of air that can get by and it's very forgiving. Uh, I'm going to get started. We've got our coffee from Oaxaca and Chiapas in Mexico. That is 24 grams of coffee weighed out and I'm going to be shooting for a 360 gram uh, pour today. So I'm going to tear that out and get the timer started. One of the nice things about this is you can use just a regular kettle for that. Oh, we live in downtown Marysville. You're going to hear uh, some sirens passing by. Pray that everyone is okay and safe. All right, so I'm going to just pour in a little bit of coffee or a little over, bit of water over the ground coffee, about twice as much as what I put in there, maybe a little bit more. One nice thing about the Kalita is that it is nice and forgiving, and I'm gonna let that sit for about 30 to 45 seconds and just let this bloom. The blooming is important because it allows the water to start to soak into the coffee, and then it's gonna more readily uh, give away the wonderful yummy goodness that's inside of it. All right, we've got right at about 40 seconds. My first pour, I'm just gonna fill this up to about a centimeter from the top. And I've got uh, 217 grams of uh, water in there now. Again, we started with 24 grams of coffee, going to be shooting for a total of 350, 360 uh, by weight of uh, water. Um, the gram scale is really handy. Um, I can tell you that the uh, wave is uh, got um, three holes on the bottom and uh, the water is going to go through very evenly on a flat bed on the, on the bottom. The pour through time will be uh, adjusted by how fine you grind the coffee. So we're right at two minutes, just the last couple of uh, drips going in f over the bed of coffee and I'm just going to go to my second pour at 350 grams. That's really it. There's nothing now but to wait. Very simple, very easy to use. The uh, coffee is fresh. It's uh, ground to a fineness that's gonna allow this to pour through in about three and a half to four minutes. I'd like to get it right around four minutes, maybe a little bit finer than what we're gonna uh, get today. But the cup is going to be really spectacular. For something so simple, basic kettle, basic uh, filter basket, uh, filter that's got uh, a flat bottom, the three holes that are in the bottom to give an even extraction on the, on the coffee. This is a really spectacular way to make a delicious cup of coffee without a whole lot of fuss. It's super easy to clean and um, just uh, delicious. You could get a little more precise with a gooseneck kettle versus one of these and just kind of get a little more um, uh, exact, but really when you just want a great cup of coffee without a lot of fuss, this is a perfect, perfect tool to, to use that for. Something I, I, I highly recommend. You're going to get a smooth, balanced, creamy, delicious cup of coffee. Uh, this particular uh, coffee has nutmeg and chocolate and is spicy. And what better way to uh, enjoy your coffee with a beautiful uh, device and a great cup of coffee. Have a wonderful day.